enthusiasts. Okay, today we are working the booty. Who wants to work their high knee? Here, right here. Okay, so you can do this with no equipment at all, but I am going to utilize my leg bands. I love the leg bands. So you can have black, blue, yellow, red, green, all different colors. They come in, some are tighter, some are looser. The tighter they are, the more resistance you're getting, okay? So I am gonna use the black leg band for this workout. The way we're going to run the workout, it's going to be five minutes standing, all butt, leg, hip specific exercises, then five minutes on the ground, then five minutes on our feet, then five minutes on the ground. All right, so let's start with no band at all. First five minutes, we're going to warm up with, you know, squats and glute specific exercises, okay? Who's ready? Woo! All right, here we go. Start the timer. Let's start with some basic knee lifts here we go get those knees up nice and high start to take some nice deep breaths so i like to always share with you that there's this mind body connection when you exercise right so you can do bicep curls all day long and if you're using weight and you're essentially tearing muscle um that then grows and that's how you you know gain muscle mass you're gonna you're gonna get stronger biceps, right? But if when you do those bicep curls, you make that connection, you really focus on what muscle you're working, and every time you do a curl, you squeeze, you think about that bicep, you hold, you squeeze, you contract, and you're so in tune mentally, you're gonna see bigger gains. So same thing here. Let's do some circles. Same thing here with a glute specific workout. You can go through the motions and you're gonna probably feel a little sore or you can go through the exercises with intention, with purpose. Every single time you lift your leg, you do a squat, you're focused on your tush and squeezing all the muscles that surround it. How are those hip flexors doing? Okay, here we go, let's squat. Okay, when we squat, Hips go back, eyes are forward, just like this. When you come to the top, stand tall, hips go forward. Keep going, that's it. All right, let's continue on, let's bring those feet closer together. Bring them close, keep squatting, keep squatting, that's it. Really stick your high knee back. And when you stand, you come through and squeeze. Good. Let's hold it down. Hold it down in your narrow position. Hold right here. Hold right here. Drive your hips back even further. Ready? Let's pick up our right foot one inch. Hold. Hold. Woo! Feeling that. Switch sides, switch sides. Pick up that foot. Hold, stay low. Stay low. That's it, and put it down. Let's do that again, back to the first leg. Pick it up, hold, sit your booty back. Three, two, switch legs. Staying low, staying low. Right here. Three, two, one, hold, pulse right here. Take those arms out to the side. Pulse, pulse, you're staying nice and low. <sighs> Feeling those legs. If you're really driving those hips back, you should feel it in your butt. Hold, good. Four, three, you're gonna come up halfway and back down. Halfway, back down. Bring it up, bring it down. I'm gonna turn a little bit, bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it up. Oh, just kidding. Good. Two more here. Two. And down. And one. And down. And stand it up. Woo! All right, we're not done. Open those toes out to the side. Open the arms out. Here we go. So as you squat, you're pressing the knees out to the side. When you stand tall at the top, 
I want you to literally squeeze your butt cheeks together. Squeeze them together. When you get to the top, also, like you're zipping up your inner thighs. Zip. Squeeze them together. Good. Everything is trying to magnetize to the center right here. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. That's it. We got 30 more seconds on our feet. Then we're going back down to the ground. Hold it here. Hold it here. Chest is tall. We're going to pulse again. Right here. Chest up. Abs in tight. Push those knees out to the side. A few more. Okay, ready? Heels up and down. Up, down. Up, down. Up. Good. Five, four, three, two, and stand. Shake it out. We're going down to the ground. All right, I got to get rid of some layers here. All right, let's go on all fours. All fours. Okay, here we go. So let's put that right leg out. Now, when you're on all fours, make sure that you're feeling strong through the top of your back. You don't want to be collapsed. See how my shoulder blades pop out? Nice and tall. Head is neutral. Eyes out in front. No leg bends yet. Ready? We're going to go up, down, up, down. If it feels better on your lower back, Actually, I'm going to go down here. Come down to your forearms. So my leg is super duper long. Up and down. Up and down. Perfect. Up, down, up, down. When you get as high as you can get, you squeeze, holding it for a half a second, and release. Good. Repetition is key here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now bend your knee. So when you look back, it's like 90 degrees. Now we're going to bring our knee in to meet the other knee and then push this one straight up. In and up. In and up. Now you probably feel a little bit of your right hamstring and butt cheek. But what hurts probably even more is your left hip because that is your support leg. Up, down. Keep that knee 90 degrees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up as high as you can. Flexing your foot right here. Flex. Flex. Ready? We're going to pulse it up and up, up. A little faster. Up, up, up. Keep your foot flexed. Go, go. <sighs> Breathe through it. Keep that face nice and calm and relaxed. Straight up, straight up. Woo! Five, four, three, Two, hold it, in, out, in, out. Drive that heel into your butt, extend the leg. One and two. You can come back up if you want. One, two, keep that elevation up nice and high. Woo! Oh yeah, five, four, three. Do not drop your leg, hold it out. Hold. We're going to cross. Bring it up. Cross. Bring it up. Cross. Oh, oh my gosh. Bring it up. Down. Up. Down. Up. All right. Who's left her hips falling off? Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it out a little right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, oh my gosh. Your left hip should be totally, totally burning on fire. The one that was your supporting hip. Just stretch it over to the side. Now we're going to the other leg. Okay. 
I'm flipping it around. Left leg now. Ready? And we go up, down. Nice and slow. Make sure your elbows are not too wide. Up, down, up, down. Nice and controlled. You got it. Breathe. Almost there. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Flex your foot in. Come 90 degrees. We're going to bring our knee in. All the way in. All the way up. All the way in and up. Belly buttons pulled in. Now this one might start hurting sooner because your supporting leg's already tired. And the leg that's moving is already tired because it was supporting you on the other side. But really make sure when you do this one that your heel is pulling in towards your butt. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, woo, come on, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up right here, hold as high as you can, pull that heel towards your butt, flex that foot, belly's in, hold, pulse it up, 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 your foot should be flat to the sky. Nine, seven, six, five, straight up, three, two, hold it there, bring it in, bring it out, bring it in, bring it out, bring them out, bring them out, come on, keep that height, don't let your leg dip, sometimes my arms get tired, Woo! five, four, Three, two, hold it here, hold it out, hold it out. Get ready, cross, up, cross, up on the diagonal, up, that's it. Over, out, over, out, you got it, woo, almost there, five, up, Four, up, three, up, two, last one, up and hold. Right here, hold it, hold it, hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yikes. Oh, all right, stand it back up. Now you're gonna stick your leg bands on if you have them, okay? Oh, you should feel the backs of your legs and your hips. Woo! All right, we're gonna put these right above our knees. Okay? We're gonna start with out and in squats. When you come in, your feet are not going to touch. They're gonna come to a distance where the bands are still tight, okay? Here we go, five minutes up here. Out, in. Out, in. Now, not only am I just stepping out to the side, but I'm also keeping this constant tension outward. So I want to be pushing my bands from the inside out the entire time. Now, I'm staying very low. This is not going to feel the same. Stay low. Booties back. Stay low. Feet are parallel. That's it. You should feel this, especially after what we just did on the floor. Woo! You got it. Stay low. You can pray. If you need to pray, that works. You're almost one minute in. Woo! Come on. That's it. Three, two, pick a leg. We're going to go up, down. Same leg. Same leg. That's it. Up, down. Lean a little bit away from the lift. 
Just a little bit away. Woo! 10 more seconds on this leg. Burn it out. That's it. Five, four, three, two. Other leg we go. Lift it up. Down, up, down. Make sure those toes are forward. Up, down. Come on, 15 more seconds here. You got it. Even if you're doing this without bands, you're going to feel this. You're like, yeah, I know. I feel it, lady. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Stay low. Bring those arms around in front. Hold here. Like we did the first round. Pick up your right foot. Don't let it come in. Pick it up and hold. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, switch legs. Keep the tension out. Pick it up. Hover, hover, hover. Hover. Ready, put it down. Switch sides. One more time each side. Pick it up. Hover, hover. Don't put it down. Shoulders relaxed. Three. Two, put it down, keep the width, lift it up and hover, hold, come on, hold, belly in, belly in, four, three, two, one, okay, ready? I'm going to turn to the side so you can see, you have tension outward, we're going to go down, we're going to bend, stand, actually, we're just going to do this, so your back's nice and straight, let's put our arms here. We're going to come as low as you possibly can, keeping this straight line. Now, we're going to bend, lift, bend, lift, bend, lift. My eyes are straight to the floor. Bend, lift your booty, lower your booty, lift it, lower it, lift it. I have constant tension outward still. Down, up, down. Up, down, up. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Arms out, up, out, up. Drop your butt. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. All right. Single leg kicking to the back. You're going to start with your back foot to the middle of the other foot. If you've ever done ballet, you're like, oh yeah, I've done it before. Okay, so right here, turning the toe out a little bit, the one that's going to move, your knee and toe are turned out. Ready? Little bend in your standing leg, and we lift it up and down, up and down. So there's a little bit of balance here. If you need to hold on to something, it's very light. Lift, lower. Your upper body is not moving much for this one. Lift the leg, lower the leg. That's it. Wow. Five more. Five, four. Keep that toe turned out. Three. Two, one, hold it up, take the arms out, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, oh my God, I can, I can, I can. Okay, here we go, other side. Turn that foot out to the side, stand tall, ready, and lift, and lower. And lift. Should be your other leg. We're almost 19 minutes into this madness. And down. When you lift up, you should feel this right here. Up and down. Mine is actually pulsing, pulsing. Up and down. Remember, if you need a little, a little touch of something for balance, but you're not holding on for 
to your life here. Your car is in control. Come on. Lift, lower, lift, lower. You got it. Five, four, three. Come on. Remember, we're holding. Hold it up. Come on. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. Five, four, three, two, one. Yikes. Woo! All right. We're going to go back down to the ground because I think we've been up here longer than five, actually. Yeah, we have. We've gone over. All right. Now, if you want that extra craziness, keep your leg bands on. It's going to hurt like mad. All right. I think I'm going to change mine to my blue ones because these are just quite intense for on the ground. Okay. Right above the knees if you still have them on. Now we're going to put that leg out to the side. You can put come down onto your elbows. Okay. We're going to bring it forward and back. Forward and back. Forward. You can touch it down and back. Forward. Abs are tight. Back. Forward. Toe is flexed. Toes are always flexed on this. And back. And forward. And back. Moving through that hip joint, strengthening all the muscles that support that hip. Get our defenses ready in that hip just in case you ever have a fall. It's a quicker recovery or whatever. Last two. Last one. Hold it up. You're going to do circles. Circle. Circle. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Other direction. Go ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. All right, we're going to do the fire hydrant. So that knee is going to come straight out to the side. Just the knee here, up, down. So it comes up to a 90 degree angle, directly out to like three o'clock from the base leg. Ready? Here we go. We go up, down. Notice I have one forearm down and one hand down. Your arms really don't matter that much as long as your core is engaged and you're not just dipping in your belly and letting your back be loosey-goosey. Up, down, up, down. Come on, get that knee up. Woo! Five, four, three, don't touch it. Two, one, hold it here, hold it here. I know, I know, don't let it drop. Fight, ready, we're gonna kick it out. Go, go, I know it. Words aren't coming out. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, press, and scream and yell and punch and kick. Woo! All right, quickly turn it around. We gotta get the poor other side. Here we go. All right, ready? We bring it to the front and to the back. We go front, oh boy, and back, and front, and back. It's not gonna work so well. Our hips are turning off slowly and back. We're 23 and a half minutes in. We're going to 30 to close it out. <sighs> Come on, keep that height off the ground. Try to barely touch it, if at all. <sighs> That's it. Oh. My talking has to go down, I can't talk.
At the same time, drive that hip, this one, down to earth. If you feel the need, wiggle out your foot. Okay, now if you can while you're standing, try to take your leg with your opposite hand and cross over your body. If you cannot do the standing, either hold on to something or lie down on your back. Okay, now cross that foot over the top of your knee. Flex foot. Drive your knee towards the floor and sit your hips back. This always helps. Sit those hips back really far. Beautiful. If you don't feel it back here, get your hips back further. Sit lower, drive your knee lower. Yes. Cross it over, reach up. Exhale down. Ah. And come on up with a flat back. Bring those feet apart. Let's switch legs. Grab the other leg. Right under your knee. Pull up tall. Really drive it in towards your chest. Wiggle out if you like. Drive your hip to the floor. All right, opposite hand. You can hold on to something great. If not, try not to. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, if you know pigeon pose, we're going there next. Cross it over, flex your foot, sit your hips back, draw your knee towards the floor. Hands can be in, hands can be here, hands can be here. Find what works for you, always. Don't worry about what I'm doing. This might hurt you in a bad way if you try to do it exactly like me or your buddy. Your working partner. Uh, and cross that foot over. Inhale. Exhale. Dive down. Uh, and come on up. All right. I'm going to turn here. Let's dive down with a flat back. Holding it here. Relax for a moment. Sway side to side. Let's walk it out into a plank. Okay, let's take whatever leg you really want. I'm gonna grab my left leg, bring it forward, as far forward as you can get it without, it's gonna slide back to where it can go, right? Your other leg is what's important. Your back knee must be tucked under, it's hiding. If I can see your kneecap or your dog can see your kneecap, you're not gonna get the stretch. I know it's gonna hurt more, but you wanna tuck that back knee under, right? Your front foot is up as high as you can get it, and then you're gonna take the walk out as far as you can. Oh, and relax. This is not good because you're holding back. Let gravity stretch you. Oh, you might wanna cry or a nervous laugh. Try to just breathe. Maybe move around a little bit. Maybe try to adjust your foot a little bit. Oh, my butt. Four more deep breaths. All right, that was four. I only shedded five tears. All right, you're gonna come up to your toe. Actually, not yet. Lift up really tall, really tall. Driving your back hip into the ground and then turn towards your bed leg. All right, now hook your back foot. Come back into downward facing dog. Ugh, might take a moment. Lift up, walk it out. Good, bring it back through to plank and bring your other leg through. Using your hand to adjust that foot, back knee is tucked away. 
No one can see your kneecap. It's a private part right now. Walk it out. Oh. Oh. I swear I love and hate this stretch so much. I love it because I know how good it is for me, but I hate it so much because it really, really hurts. And it's hard to let go. It's hard to just release the, the fight that you want to give back to gravity. But we have to let go here and just try to breathe. And every exhale, I'll sink a little bit deeper. Try not to fight back. I know, I'm feeling the same as you. Ooh. Three more deep breaths. Slowly walk it up, lift up, really stretch out the abs, your hip flexor. Maybe turn a little bit to the side. Oh yeah. All right, everybody, bring that leg back. Walk your hands to meet your feet or your hands or your feet to meet your hands wherever you are. Roll it up. Roll, 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 roll. Nice and slow. <sighs> Take a big circle, maybe two times. Other way. Take those hands behind the back just because this feels so good. Open up the chest. Reach it up tall for a deep breath, inhale, exhale. All right, superheroes, come on out. Strike your superhero pose, close your eyes. You are strong, you are powerful, you are your own superhero. Put your mind to your goals and attack them. You've got it in you to make a change. Deep breath in, exhale, inhale, one more time. Exhale. All right, everybody. Great job. Clap it up. Go out there. Take over the world. And I will see you for our next workout together.